Have you all enjoyed it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have. It has been snooker definitely for the purist. This is what we expected. But Milky's going to have to stop producing it as well. Hang on. Oh, wow. That was nearly unbelievable. That nearly went the whole length of the table into the yellow pocket. 48. Oh. <laughs> well, it might be a turning point. But that would have been probably the most incredible pop in Crucible history had it gone in. the pink and is that the end of play it seems he needs to get back on track foul <laughs> foul can you believe it <laughs> see Jaguar misses the red and then instead of putting him back in again he plays the same shot and misses the red <laughs> incredible a moment of light relief. It's so boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, always missed it. Mark Allen for. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> oh, that's nice to see. Championship. So we're just joining in. Alan. And he's got it. <laughs> well, this time it's Mark Allen's turn to get the snooker back. A tremendous break, it really has. Well played, well played, Luke. This Crucible crowd love it. Look at this. Not bothered about the black. Superb break of 108. He's even forgotten it's a mid session interval. But at least he's got a frame on the board. And that was more like it from Luca Brussel. He's enjoying the moment out there. Cijar Wee leading Luca Brussel by 14 frames to six. It's been an exhibition. Mark, John just came off air and said, you are an absolute animal. He was <laughs> full of praise, full of respect. He just said, you're impossible. What kind of animal? Uh, an impressive one who's, impos <laughs> who's impossible to play against in that kind of form. That, that is, a, that is a, great, um, a great affirmation from a wonderful champion. I'm not sure if that happened in Leo Scullion that isn't. One, yeah. Not unless yeah. they replay it. I can't okay. tell them that. You walked in front of me. Yeah, yeah maybe it didn't. It but I didn't, I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't clearly see a foul, so I can't call it. You didn't clearly see it, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just missed the pink and allowed it to go straight into the middle. Nice no, drifted. It's drifted. 
Well, no wonder he looks around. That really drifted. Well, he can laugh about it. And even Selby, look at this. He thought it was in, he was walking away. It's going to the far side of the pocket, but then it just drifts over. The Welsh Open title in such fine style in February. He's been a grafter for his entire career, and he'll go for it this morning. He's a cider drinker, but we call him the milkman. Robert Milkins. And as if by magic, it's the gentleman, Joe Perry. Foul. See Joe E4. <laughs> and the frame. My top ten snooker players of all time. Number one, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Number two... <laughs> Number two, Steve Hedge. <laughs> Number three, John Higgins. Number three, John Higgins. Wait for it. There was one a bit like that in the first session. Anthony McGill closes his eyes. Oh. Overly significant. Again, Anthony reverts to a bit of Zen-like meditation. Thank you. Well, I think a toilet break has been requested here. Mark Allen needing to needing to leave the arena just adding to the drama so they're going to stop the clock and in fact Jack Jones is also going to go out this doesn't help the, the prospect of the match actually concluding in this session it's quite a lengthy frame look at that 26 minutes and still a lot of snooker left to play in this frame but can't be helped when you've got to go you've got to go in it goes no <laughs> it looked in on the way the nap of the cloth but when you said that I thought yeah you're absolutely right Turn left the last minute, didn't it? Amazing, that was. And he's missed again. Extraordinary. What's happened to that pocket and what's his take on it? Front row so close. You can have a chat with them, but he shouldn't really do it. He's offering his cue to the gentleman. Ronnie O'Sullivan coming back to have a few shots it's not often you'd see O'Sullivan do that One. but that was a blitz from Luca Brassell 11 seconds a shot break of 93 well he got the frame one in under six minutes it was as far as the point where O'Sullivan was never going to try and win the frame again Eight. obviously <sighs> look at this I need to be tall he says Need to be about seven feet tall, I think, to play this. Foul. Oh, yeah, and he fouled it. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. Now, where's this red going? It needs to keep running. Well, what a fluke that is from Ricky Walden. Again, caught the red what? much, much too thinly. Now, have a look at this. He's playing half ball off the pack here. Caught it so thin, and had this red not dropped, Luke had been right in amongst them. He's... 